I know temperatures will break record highs across the country again today with over 90 million Americans under that excessive heat alert. Gerard's been telling us about this and how hot it is in some parts of the country. But Nick is at our News Nation Smart Board with a look at this excessive heat danger and what you can do to keep you and your neighbors safe. Absolutely, Adrian. You know, Gerard kind of alluded to this earlier, but heat is the leading cause of death related to connected to weather. Uh, more than flooding, more than tornadoes, more than even cold weather. Weather. In fact, when we look at the information collected by the National Weather Service, we can see that in 2021, there were 190 heat-related fatalities. And over a 30-year average, you can see that that number is even more alarming because it almost uh, meets what flooding and tornadoes do combined. What's also interesting is that this is data is partial data that's connected and collected, and it kind of pretends to what we see on a national average because of the states that have reported information, there are only seven have done so. Every state is not has not reported information to the National Weather Service. Of the seven states from whom we have collected data, Portland, Oregon, or Oregon, the state of Oregon had the most heat-related injuries and deaths. So what experts are saying is that if you know uh, that you're going to be in extreme heat or weather, to drink plenty of water, try to avoid being out in the sun, and drink more water than you ordinarily would. If you live in a home that does not have air conditioning, you may even supply, you may even, uh, excuse me, qualify for some type of assistance. Right. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.